Alrighty then. Sometimes you are asked to maximize the area if you're given a certain perimeter, but instead of having four sides like we did in the last uh, examples, we only get three sides. Just three sides. What kind of situation would that be? Well, let's say that there was uh, a barn right here. This is the barn, okay? You can hear the cows, yes. Okay, and you, you got some fence and you had 60 meters of fence. Okay, so you had some fence and you got 60 meters of green fence here. Um, when I first did questions like this, my first thought was, well, just make a square again and, uh, you know, take 60 divided by 3, so that'd be 20, 20, and 20. That's even right that. If each side was 20, uh, what would the area be inside here? Well, the area would be 20 times 20, that'd be 400. Let's say it's meters, so 400 meters squared. So that's if it was 20, 20, and 20. But uh, it turns out that a square is not the best when you have three sides. Watch this. Um, let's go down from here. Let's go down by fives just to see if this works. What if the width, what if the width was 15? So this is the width here. Okay, now there's two of them. There's a width there and there's a width there. And uh, what would be left over? 15 plus 15 is 30. What's left over? Well, 30. This adds up to 60, right? 15 plus 15 plus 30 is 60. So what do you get for an area? Well, 30 times 15. 30 times 15. I'm doing it on my calculator. Let's see here. 15 times 30 is 450 already. Can you see how can you see how this number is bigger than this number? So let's keep experimenting here. Here I'll uh, I'll cross out these. Let's go down by five. So let's say let's make this 10. And if this is 10, this has to be 10. What would the length be? So 60 minus 10 minus 20. 10 leaves us left over with 40. All right, so 10 plus 10 plus 40 is 60. So when the width is 10, what's the area? Well, 40 times 10 is 400. Okay, so once again, 400 is not as big as 450. So far, this is our biggest amount. All right, so far, this is our largest area given that we have 60 meters. Let's just try one more. What if we made the sides or the width 5, 5, 5. What's left over from 60? 5 and 5 is 10. So that would leave us with 50 here. 50 plus 5 plus 5 is 60. So if the width is 5, what is the area? Well, 50 times 5 is 250. Notice the number is getting smaller. So these numbers are getting smaller. And you get to this big 450 right here and then it starts to get smaller again. So this is the deal. When you have when you have a situation where there's three sides, and here's the rule, you can write this down if you want. You have a width here and you have a width here. Okay? What you want in order to get the maximum area given that perimeter, the bottom length here, this is a length, has to be two times the width. So if this is 15, like our last example, what's two times 15? That's right, 30. Two times 15 is 30. If this is 15, this is 30. Okay, so what happens? If you're given, let's say, I don't know, just let's make up a number, 100. Let's say you have 100 meters of fence. That's your perimeter. All the green part is 100. So how could you figure out, how could you figure out uh, 
what is the best dimensions? Well, let's just do this like this. The perimeter is the width plus 2w, or 2 times the width, plus the width again. So do you remember from algebra in the second unit, w plus 2w plus w, that is really 4 w's. If you remember that, these are called like terms. Okay. Now, the perimeter is 100, so I'm just going to erase this. I'm going to put in 100 right here. That's our perimeter. So how do we get rid of the 4? Do you remember? Well, that's right. You divide both sides by 4. Okay. So our width is going to be 25. The width right here will be 25. All right. This is 25. And our length down here is 2 times 25, or you could say it's 50. Okay, and if they said, what's the maximum area possible here? You would just go, what's 50 times 25? And you would get this as an answer. The area, the maximum area, the max area is 1,250. And if we're talking meters, we'd say meters squared. Once again, 25, double 25 is 50. If you add up all three sides here, you will come up to 100. 25 plus 50 plus 25 is 100. So that is what you do. Basically, if you're given a perimeter, what we did down here is you divide. So if you're given a perimeter, if you're given a perimeter, just divide it by 4, and that will be your width. And then from there you can take it, right? All right, so what do you do? if you are um, given a certain area. So let's take a certain area. Let's say they said here we have 200 meters squared to cover and you want to use the least amount of fence possible. So let's look at the title here. It's a little bit more confusing, but this is the official title. Minimizing the perimeter given a certain area. Well, we were given the area, there it is right there, 200 meters squared, and we're going to try and minimize, that means make as make the least possible perimeter, so that it's just cheaper for, if you had a fence or something, you wouldn't have to spend as much money. So here's how you do this. You start by saying, okay, well, I know that area is, you take the length, and you times it by the width. All right, so what do we know here? Well, we know the area is 200. They gave us that. So I write that underneath the A. What's the length? Well, the length of this line is 2 times the width. So we're just calling it 2W. Okay, I'm going to put brackets around this. That means times. The width is, surprise, surprise, a W, just a W. Now, how would we solve this? We want to figure out what the width is. Well, put these two together. What's 2w times w? Well, I'm going to write the 200 again. w times w, if you remember, is w squared. Okay? w times w is not a number. It's just that number squared. So we just write it like that. How do you get rid of the 2 then? That's what we start by doing here. You get rid of the 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So we're left with 100 is equal to w squared. What is the opposite of squaring? Do you remember? Thank you. You square root. It's tough remembering way back from the algebra unit. So w squared, take the square root of that, you're just left with w, and the square root of 100 is 10. Okay? So we have just figured out that the width of this guy up here is 10. 10 meters. Okay? Now, just remember, it's a three-sided shape, so the length is going to be double whatever the width is. So just double the 10, and we get 20. Okay? And, of course, this width over here is also 10. So what's the minimum perimeter? Sorry, what's the smallest amount of perimeter needed in order to get 200 meters squared inside on a three-sided shape? Well, 10 plus 20 plus 10 
is what? That's right. The minimum perimeter is 20, 30, 40. 40 meters. That's the minimum perimeter that we need in order to get 200 meters squared. And that's how you deal with a situation where they give you the area and you have to figure out the smallest distance around it when there's three sides. Okay, there will be quiz stuff on this, so just feel free to look back at this video when you need to. All right, good luck.